Once Chevron came to Ecuador, it was Texaco back then. They did there what they did so many times again. An ocean of sludge stored in pits unlined, no stone unturned, no resources unmined. They call it the Chernobyl of the Amazon. A thousand square miles, dead and gone. When Chevron came to Ecuador, it was a dictatorship there. What happened in the Amazon, they didn't care. As long as they made money, let the oil flow. Where the waste went, no one wanted to know. And if they did, they could be bought. And if not, they could be abducted tortured and shot. When Chevron came to Ecuador, the location was preferred by the oil corporation. Because they had free reign, there was no oversight. And if anyone complained, then one night they'd not be seen again. It was a torture state. That was why Chevron thought it was so great. When Chevron came to Ecuador, it was paradise on earth. They turned it into a land of stillbirth. They left behind the ruins and took all the loot. Now they're trying to silence the ones who brought the lawsuit. Why was Don Zuger detained? A corrupt judge knows, and where are all the billions that the company owes? When Chevron came to Ecuador, when Chevron came to Ecuador, 